Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and I will talk to you in this video about the Windows Search Indexer. What is that? So Windows of course scans your hard drive for files and creates a list, an aggregated list that it can actually access really really quickly. So when you of course use Windows Search, one of the reasons that a file is actually starting, is showing up fast, is that, well, you actually have the uh, scan process or the Windows search indexer has already seen it and knows where it is. So, for example, here I got an Air Force logo. That's what I was searching for with logo, and I got it immediately. So, um, the logo, of course, um, was found because the search indexer had scanned it and knows it exists. Uh, this is one of the causes of uh, some slowdown of PCs when you first install Windows, by the way. Often people say, well, I just installed Windows 10. It's kind of slow. Um, because when you do a first install, it needs to actually search your hard drive for the files. Now, there are two settings for the search indexer. And this is important to understand both settings. So if you go into your settings in Windows, go into search, then on the left side, go searching Windows. You will see, find my files. Now, you will see the indexing um, is going to say indexed items and pending. What's left that it didn't scan, for example. It is adaptable. Usually when you use your PC and you start doing activity, it actually kind of slows down the search for files as not to slow down your PC too much. Two things, well, several things you can do, but the two major sections are classic. This is searching only in your libraries and the desktop. That means searching in uh, documents, in images, in or pictures, in videos, in download, and so on. Or enhance, which is everywhere on your PC. Using enhance could be nice if you're somebody that often tweaks files within Windows because it will actually show them or actually have them show up in a search if you need to search for a DLL, for example. The problem is because it now adds hundreds of thousands of new files, it will slow down much more your PC and will reduce uh, the battery life, will increase your CPU uh, consumption. So that means your PC will, uh, of course, slow down a little. Um, depending on the, the, the um, age of your PC, even a lot. So what you could do, and my, um, my settings that would be more interesting, I think, for this type of search, is rather to use the classic search, so it actually will search only on the basic folders. And if you do need to have something else that you want to f search into, you can click Customize Search Locations here. And here you are going to have this and you can actually go to modify or advanced and tell the computer you know you can modify this information and say well I want to add a location so you can go and click you know whatever location you want to actually scan through and you see these little arrows so you can go into here so for example here windows.old maybe I can want to scan in there and see if there's something in there that I would be actually uh, missing out uh, and then you click location. You, you click the OK button. This will, of course, add the uh, to the uh, search of the search indexer. That means it will actually start finding files that match the search criteria in these other locations. So it's very important to uh, to know how this works. If you do use search uh, very often. I, I use search a lot to search for files on my PC, honestly. When I don't know where our file is, I th it's a very useful feature. But having the classic with just customizing your locations where you want it to search is better than, personally, I think it's better than using the enhanced version. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.